this whole concept here, which dates back to Russian stoves and Finnish and German and uh, Roman and Japan and throughout history, people have sought a better solution to uh, to the fireplace or the burning of wood in order to get more more out of it. Well, this is where it all begins, is that the trees store up sunlight. Excellent way to get that sunlight back is to burn it. And so that's where we start, we burn the wood. But after the fire, it goes back to the back of the stove and then, then it exits the firebox and it comes up and it hits this floor here, which is the floor of the cook oven. So it's, so it's like, how many uses can we get out of this fire before we let it go up the chimney? And the, for the first use we make is we, uh, is that we uh, cook food in it. Uh, and so after that, then it goes up into this chamber above it. And here it has a choice. There's a there's a multiple of doors here that open up. This one is for the steam generator. It's a piece that I salvaged from a, actually or got from a wrecking yard or the Rex rockets. It's a rocket uh, preheater for heating fuel in a rocket. And we're using it as a steam boiler to make steam for the the electrical power and the steam room in this house. It'll have a steam room where you'll sit and whenever the motor's running it will be exhausting steam into the room and you can get a steam bath. Well, you make your electricity for the house from the fire. There's two heat exchangers inside this of different natures, but we're just running them in a series where we run through this heat exchanger and then we loop it back around and run it through the second heat exchanger, which makes it produce even hotter steam than it did out of the first loop. And then this next door, this is the bypass here, and this allows the fire to go just up around the oven and then exit to the chimney. And it's kind of for starting the fire, getting it going good and hot. We close this one. We open this one, and then the flue gases come over here. They go down here, and then they travel around in the bench. They come around, they go this way, and then they go this way, and then they go back up and exit the stove to the chimney. Now this channel has has these pipes you see here, which are uh, copper. There's 120 feet of them that roll spiral down this tube. And then they come back out again hot. They go in cold on this side and they come out hot over here. After we get enough water on, on supply for all of our cleaning needs, then the next thing is we run it into the floor using the hydronic heat to heat the slab, which is a huge heat battery. And so we can store massive amounts of heat in this floor of this house. So well, this is our primary method of getting the heat out of the fire is first of all to make it go downhill because a fire going downhill has to give up heat and so it gives up massive amounts of heat and the stone kind of catches the heat and gives it back to you even after the fire goes out it takes a long time for this to cool down.